on this episode of the Peef, let's talk. Potential. Like that can be a very big downfall in relationships. Like, oh, this man can do this or this woman can do that. Because what if they don't get to that potential? What if she can't change? So sometimes you need to take a person as is. And if you're not willing to accept them, like, I feel like you shouldn't go for it. Like, I mean, you kind of knew her history, right? You knew her history. I'm not going to blame her, whatever. I don't know the dynamics. I mean, y'all broke it down. She's been around the industry, whatever. Clearly smoking cigarettes. I mean, whatever. I mean, you knew her history, right? So is she fully to blame? Because that was her nature. That was her, that's how she was. Um, so I wouldn't really, I just, I don't like to speak on potential or expectations. You got to take someone as is. And if you don't like them as that person, like you can't be wrong if they switch up on you. They showed you them, I feel. But yeah, that's, how, that's all. If you're just tuning yeah, in, there, welcome to La Peef, Let's Talk. So let's get into the Love meat, man. Right. Let's get into the meat. As you guys know, <laughs> uh, Oh, Megan me. Good, Megan Good, and Devon Franklin are filed for divorce. Filed for divorce, man. That's unfortunate. Along with a host of other people, but we're going to start off with them. They met in 2011. They crossed paths by working on the film, Jump in the Broom. God told her he was meant to be my husband. All while she was in an unhealthy relationship with someone else. God also told her it was time for her to be celibate. They married in uh, June of 2020, uh, 2020, June 2012, and they filed for divorce after being together for nine years. I seen this interview where he said that he had to sacrifice his list with God just to accept her. Mm. That posed this question. Can a man change a woman's mindset over time? Can she be saved? Can a man change a woman's mindset over time? Can she be saved? Start with you, Q. Question. Before you go into that, I'm curious. Um, did he divulge what was on his list that he had to give up? That's what I was wondering too, Q. Yeah, he said uh, the list that he said was that she couldn't be an actress. Um, she didn't smoke. It was one more because uh, at the time he met her, Megan Good was smoking and she was ashes. Well, this is something that he just said because I feel like they put him on the spot and he just named smoking things. what exactly? Cigarettes. Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> and it was it was something else. Uh, I can't recall what it was, but it was just like a bullshit list that he just made up because they put him on the spot. I don't think he was prepared to answer that, but um, apparently Megan Good wasn't the ideal woman for him. Um, it appeared that she was completely opposite. I remember seeing that relationship too. When I first seen it, I just, all of a sudden it was like she was saved. Like she was hit by a lightning bolt and all of a sudden she was just this different woman. And I didn't know too much about it. And again, we not, we don't know a hundred percent what's going on in any of these celebrity relationships, but I do think that because they are in the spotlight, we can look at their relationships and we can apply it to everyday life. And so let's just, let's talk about it, but don't get too hung over. Like, I don't know them personally. We know that, but let's just have a conversation for the sake of having a conversation. Can you put so, the question at the bottom? Hmm? But I'm going to say uh, this. I don't know them personally. And I'm just playing. <laughs> there you go. Can a man change a woman's mindset over time? Can she be saved? I'm going to speak on the topic, not the people. I feel like, yes, um, it depends on what he's trying to save her from. Like, and some women do listen. I mean, it, it's a rough world out there now, but there are women that will listen and submit and will make that change for the man that, that they require. So um, mindset, is, that's, ah, the woman has to make the choice to change her mindset, right? So it, it all really depends on that type of woman, but it's definitely doable, I feel. Oh. Yeah, but no, that's, I'm, I can't, I'm not gonna speak on them because I don't like speaking about these famous people. I don't know nothing about them or care. I just, but, I put the disclaimer you know, out there. Like, I said, don't, don't worry about yeah. that. 
Don't worry about I feel that. like the older, the older, I feel like the older women get, the more they're going to come to realization, okay, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do X, Y, and Z to get the man that I want. So they'll be more receptive. <clears throat> they'll be more receptive of taking in a man's advice <clears throat> on certain stuff. I feel that's just my opinion. So. Okay. Kayla, can a man change a woman's mindset over time? Can she be saved? Um, when I first saw the question, you said, can she be saved? We're talking about Megan and De De Devon. I was thinking save, like, can her life be saved? Can she give her life to Christ? Can she, can she, that's the first thing that I thought when you said, can she be saved? But I'm guessing you're saying like save from whatever her devices are or, or vices are rather. Um, yeah, I definitely think that a woman can, but um, just like anything else, she has to want to as well. She doesn't want to, then it's not going to work. It's like therapy. Like it doesn't matter how many sessions you go to. If you're not open and willing, it doesn't matter how many sessions you go to. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. You have to want to change for yourself and then want to change for him. That's the only way I think it's going to work. I think when you're doing something specifically and only for someone else, um, it usually doesn't last. It has to be what you want as well. So as long as it's what she wants, um, then I definitely think it's doable. Definitely. Okay. The K show. Can a man change a woman's mindset over time? Can she be saved? Um, I like what uh, Q and Kayla said, because on one hand, it's like um, a woman can be receptive to the things that a man, you know, is presenting or whatever, and therefore she can make that change. But there also has to be like a willingness there. So I think um, that a man can change a woman's mindset for sure. Uh, I think it's just, there's just a lot of moving parts into whether or not that's, that's going to be successful. Um, I think a lot of times it's not, you know, some people might put up a front when they meet a man that they think they want. And, you know, that doesn't last long. Or a man might, you know, have these requirements and the woman might fit into it, but only for so long. So, <clears throat> uh, but I do think that there are occasions where a man can change a woman's mindset and like save her life or save her or whatever context you want to use that in. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, what are your like, thoughts about I, it? Oh, no, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Q. One thing. Um, I don't like when people look at someone's potential. Like that can be a very big downfall in relationships. Like, oh, this man can do this or this woman can do that. Cause what if they don't get to that potential? What if she can't change? So sometimes you need to take a person as is. And if you're not willing to accept them, like I feel like you shouldn't go for it. Like, I mean, you kind of knew her history, right? You knew her history. I'm not going to blame her or whatever. I don't know the dynamics. I mean, y'all broke it down. She's been around the industry, whatever. Clearly smoking cigarettes. I mean, whatever. I mean, you knew her history, right? So is she fully to blame? Because that was her nature. That was her. That's how she was. Um, so I wouldn't really. I just I don't like to speak on potential or expectations. You got to take someone as is. And if you don't like them as that person, like you can't be wrong if they switch up on you. They showed you them, I feel. But yeah, that's all. 